welcome to Battles on Airsoft. Uh, we're going to have another look today at the Tip and Omega. I feel like a lion. I'm so strong. Bring me the legacy. I'm so fun. I feel like a lion. She is going inside my mind. Hey, I'm so fun. Come on, let me breathe. There's lots of videos going around about this. We've done another quick one the other day. That was just a brief look at the, uh, uh, the Tip and Omega when it arrived. So we're going to have a little bit more now and we'll in depth look and see what you get in the box, stuff like that. So this is the way it will arrive. You've got these with your Tipman, a few Allen keys. Comes with the original Tipman 150 round mid cap, like that. And we've got one little instruction book as well, written in English. Now you'll get the tip and Omega. Comes like this, without the stock attached. You get the air stock separately. So I'd just like to point something out. Now, not everybody is offering a uh, 13 seal tank with them. Uh, for some reason, uh, they're not in all countries, and uh, possibly it's the US, maybe some other countries, you're not getting the 13 seal tank. Now, uh, as far as I know, that all UK shops, I know definitely we are, we are including the 13 seal tank from Tipman for free. So you will get one of these as a nice little starter pack to get going on out of the field. So we'll touch on that a little bit more in depth in a moment as well. So if you're ordering these online, uh, they will come empty, as we cannot ship these bottles with any air in at all. If you come in store and buy one, we will fill it up for free, so you'll have to go at the shop ready to go. So we're just going to talk through how to set one of these up. Very simple process. Literally, there's your bottle. Screw it on like that. Oh, done that wrong. Let's try it again, shall we? About that, hold that back. That's a little simple. It's a little bit stiff when you first get them out of the box, but there we go. That's it set up like that. And I'll just show you where the uh, little uh, nine volt battery goes. There we go, a little nine volt battery goes in there. Now we did try using a little cheap one the other day. Um, one of the cheaper Panasonic ones you can pick up for a pound in the cheap shops. It didn't last too long. So that's one thing I've noticed so far. But we've had this one, uh, this night, just so one in there for a little while now, and it seems working quite well. Uh, make sure it switches off and we do disconnect it after use. Now, these come with the original tip and flip up sights. As you can see a standard. We've got a standard M4 hop unit and a standard AG barrel in there. And you notice it also comes with the M-lock rail. Now, these are all the, we're slowly seeing more and more accessories becoming available now for the M-lock. Uh, they were a little bit scarce to start with. Uh, we'll be getting a few more in over the last, few, uh, over the next few weeks, and uh, hopefully have a few more grips and stuff in for you to choose. Uh, so this stock is adjustable. That's pretty much sort of at its limit. Uh, so it's pretty good. Uh, now we've seen a few uh, online videos mentioning about um, adjusting the FPS and stuff. It is a little bit tricky, um, but uh, once it's set, it's set. Now. Uh, I'll just quickly go over it. I mean, I will, we will show you this step by step. If you come in store buy and buy one, we will show you. Now, to adjust the FPS on this, on the HPA version, that is, you have to remove the uh, pistol grip. There's a little screw under there. And there's also a screw up here, which you can't quite get to because of the charge handle. So you remove the upper receiver, and then you can do the, under the screw at the top, screw at the bottom, and then this air stop section pops off. Inside there you'll find an adjuster, an Allen key, can't remember the size to be honest, uh, but you adjust that. Now it's a little bit tricky, so obviously you'd have to, you have to adjust it, then screw your air stock back on, put the air stock back on. So what I've done when I was doing this, I was actually doing it with the, relieving the pistol grip off. Because then you can undo, connect those two back up and adjust your FPS grip down. Put your, sorry, put your bot back on, adjust your FPS, see what it's like, and then you can readjust it, take it back off again and have a look. These are coming out of the box at around sort of 400 FPS, uh, which is not legal in the UK. So before we sell any of these, we are setting these up. 
Uh, we're setting up between sort of 330 and 350. We'll try and get them as close to 350 as possible. But we understand there's a lot of sites out there uh, use different brand of chronos. Even if you end up with two chronos exactly the same brand, they will not be the same. Every chrono could be slightly different. So we always leave a little bit for variance. So that's why if we get to around sort of 330, 335, 340, we'll probably leave the gun there. Because if we push you up to 350, chances are when you get to your local site, you won't be able to use it. So, although this is a little bit tricky to set up, with, set up to start with, um, we believe this is a little bit more of a break away from the normal HPA. Now, we see a lot of bad posts about HPA users out there uh, that, oh, you can have stupid rates of fire, and you can do this and do that, and you can turn your FPS up on a film. And that. But your job, you'll probably generally find that most HPA users out there uh, will not abuse that, because at the end of the day, Airsoft is a gentleman sport, and we're all there to trust so you really thought you should trust that anyway. But anyway, going back to this. Uh, so on a normal HPA system where you'd have a regulator on, on your bottle, you can adjust your FPS on top of the bottle. Now with the original Tipman, re with the recoil, that couldn't be done, but you had to adjust it inside the gun. And you have to buy the extended lock pin, where you lock the body off. Now that's the one system. But with this one, once you've got it set up and you've reassembled the gun, there is no way of adjusting this gun on the field. You'd have to take the upper receiver off, take the pistol grip off, remove the air stock. Now, if someone started stripping their gun down on the field, out on the game site, any marshal should be questioning that, whether it be HPA, Sniper, AEG, if anybody's stripping a gun down, they're tinkering a bit, so it should be checked anyway. So I think now this is a good HPA gun for sites that, you know, once this goes through your chrono in the morning, there really shouldn't be no need for this gun to go hot again, unless you see the customer stripping their gun down. So another good little feature from them. Um, also, the uh, touching go back onto the instruction booklet. Uh, it's been reported, and we've discovered that the instructions are not right as for um, changing the rate of fire. Because these come out of the box uh, preset, so they're set preset at 10, 15, or 20 rounds a second. Sorry, 25 rounds a second. Now they're all coming out of the box set on the 25 rounds a second, and we believe that most people are going to want to run it on the 25 rounds a second anyway. Uh, so we'll leave it at that. But it is a little bit tricky to change it, and if you want to, once you've purchased this, we will explain to you how that's done if you want to change it to 10 or, 20, uh, so to 10 or 20, uh, 15. Because it's not uh, AEG, you've got a nice little thin grip there, so it's nice, more like a real steel, nice comfortable grip. Again, got the grooves in it, so it fits uh, nice and nice and comfortable, but it's also good because you can switch to the sides. It's not right hand specific, it can be used in the left hand quite freely. We did mention on our other video about the shots per bottle. Now on a 13 CL, out of the box we're talking here, so that'll be on 400 FPS at 25 rounds a second, you will get roughly about 700 to 800 rounds so per, per bottle. Now with this gun set up, this gun's now set up around about 335 and on still on 25 rounds a second and we're getting around about sort of 950 to 1000 rounds out of one tank. So that's a little bit better, but if you want it to be a bit more conservative, you could probably drop it down to 10 rounds a second. And a guess, that is a guess, you'd probably get something like 1,100 to 1,200 rounds out of a bottle. Um, so we can always buy these separately. We've currently ones we currently, 13 sales we've currently got in stock of 39.99. These can be purchased separately. Or you can always go down the route of buying a buddy bottle. Buy a scuba tank, something like that, and that way you can tank the, tank, top these off all day long. Um, so if you're going to go for the small bottles, I recommend you probably need at least three. So if one with a gun and purchase another two tanks now should last you all day. Again, depending on what sort of day you're having. The trigger is a very, very light trigger, very easy to pull. Uh, now this is a tunable trigger. Inside, you may have to strip it down, but inside there is a little screw. You can adjust that, so you can adjust the sensitivity of the uh, trigger. So it's a micro switch, but you can actually adjust it so you can get a nice feather light trigger. That would be down to you, uh, personal preference really. I mean, I prefer how this is set up. I prefer to actually pull my trigger rather than just brush it. That's the way I play. Um, let's just have a look. So again, just got to have another little listen to this. They are good. I mean, look. You can stick there. Nice. Nice. There's no, look. You can see, look. No, no resistance to it. Lovely trigger, I think. Maybe just a little burst of that again. Like that. Now, we've put, put this through the chrono this morning. Uh, we can't show it to you because basically I've had to dig out my chrono out the back. I've still not managed to get out in the stock room. Uh, but we've put it through the chrono this morning. What we've discovered is we use uh, Aries M4 mags as our test mags. Um, now, on a high cap, we was only getting 1,200 rounds a minute. But I believe it was the high cap mag struggling to keep up with the, uh, the feed. 
So we tried it on an Aries mid cap um, and perfectly fine. Uh, we got up to 15 rounds a minute, 1500 rounds a minute, which is 25 rounds a second, and exactly what tip and state this is. We haven't been able to get out and do our test video yet. Uh, we're going to get out hopefully this weekend. Unfortunately, I'm quite busy still, uh, running business, looking after family, etc. So I'm not going to be able to get out this weekend. But um, if I get a chance to get out on Sunday, I will do. But if I don't get a chance to do the video, uh, the guys from Team Sasquatch uh, may be out this weekend running one and they're going to go and put it through their paces and give it a bit of an honest review and we can see what they say. Because really what I want to do is I want to see what the range and accuracy is like this out of the box. It's great for on it at chrono six foot away, but it doesn't give us a true reflection of what it's like out in the field. So we will get this out in the field this weekend. Uh, and there'll be an updated video to come out show a little bit of game footage that might not be on our channel so you might have to check out the guys over at Team Sasquatch's uh, YouTube channel that might go on their channel okay but we'll put that on our Facebook page you can have a look at that and then we can have a true reflection of range and accuracy just like to say about the pre-orders pre-orders what we've got going on now the carbine length one in this size so the HPA carbine is in stock and is ready to order those are no longer on pre-order we have plenty of supplies of those the close quarter ones are still trickling through. So again, at the moment, if you wanted the close quarter version, the close quarter HPA version that is, uh, I would advise that you still pre-order those. Uh, that way we can guarantee you're gonna get one uh, because at the moment they're, they're still a bit iffy of how many we've actually got coming through. Um, as for the uh, CO2, they arrived into the UK on very, very limited numbers. Uh, that was down to Tipman and again, uh, again, the UK distributor. Uh, not too sure what's going on there. They ordered them, but they didn't arrive. Um, so actually only two CO2 variants uh, arrived in the UK. Uh, we have a pre-order on one, um, and that's also going to go to the distributor's customer as well. They have actually had to uh, let some people down with their pre-orders. So there's actually only going to be two CO2 versions in the UK for a little while. We, don't, we, do not, we haven't been told by Tip how long, when the rest of the shipment's going to arrive. That could be a couple of weeks, could be a couple of months. We've not actually been given a date yet. But we will uh, notify you as soon as that changes. So that's for the CO2, we've actually taken them off of pre-order for now. So if you're one of, one of those two lucky customers in the UK, that is a very, very rare Titman uh, Amiga at the moment. So count yourself lucky. Right, so also something you notice with this as well is that you've got the uh, air stock. So with this Titman Amiga, unfortunately, there isn't any recoil like the original Titman as well. Uh, but they do come with the same great Tipman warranty that all Tipmans do. The original HPA with the recoil, the new Amigas and the AGs all come with uh, Tipman's one year no quabble uh, warranty. So that means that all parts and labour are covered for free. Uh, any manu manufactured defects will be rectified and exchanged or swapped over, whatever we need to do. But we don't have those problems or resolved within uh, 7 to 14 days. These can be pre ordered on our website. I say these, well, sorry, these ones are up for available to order on our website. If stocks run low, we can still get plenty of them, but they'll probably switch over into pre order. I say everything's up on our website. All the information you need is on our website. They can be pre ordered. The Amiga, uh, or both HPA versions, are coming in at 474.99. The CO2 versions are going to be uh, 429.99, but like I said, the CO2 ones at the moment, we're not too sure when we're going to get more stock for those. Also on our website is the full range of Tipmans. So we've got the original uh, HPA with the recoil, so that's what we call the original M4. Uh, we've got those in close quarters and carbine lengths. We've also got the um, Car Commando AEG, which is a starter one, and we've also got the Recon uh, in three different sizes and two different colours. And now, so we've got the Amigas in stock and ready to ship in the carbine length. Amigas in close quarter, HPA close quarter ones will still have to be pre-ordered. And the CO2s will be notified when they arrive. So also, all the information you need can be found on our website. Uh, any other information, please message us and contact us first. And like I say, because we are Tipman Tech Centre and authorised dealer, if you're purchasing this is in person or even online, um, it's a bit more tricky doing it online, but we'll try and talk you through the process. Any questions, any queries, just let us know and we'll answer them. Like I say, if you're a local customer, pop into the shop, we're more likely to help, help you. We can actually demonstrate stuff to you. Uh, but if you're an online customer, obviously, we have to do that by email, messenger, or something like that. Okay, like I say, my name's Gordon. Uh, thank you for watching today. Uh, don't forget our website is www.battlezoneairsoft.com and we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and a traditional email, also on Google Plus, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching today.